Well, that's a bit sudden, but all right. <laughs> is that what you call a proposal? William Wallace is a Scottish rebel who leads an uprising against the cruel English ruler Edward the Longshanks. Go back to England and tell them there that Scotland's daughters and her sons are yours no more. The rebellion has begun. And who? Once he loses his loved ones, William Wallace begins his long quest to make Scotland free once and for all, along with the assistance of Robert the Bruce. Pick a flock of your finest assassins and set a meeting. My lord, Wallace is renowned for his ability to smell an ambush. I absolutely guarantee this movie to anybody who enjoys action and war with a bit of drama mixed in. Peace. He declares it to me, I swear it. You tell your king, William Wallace will not be ruled, nor will any Scot will I live. The film's dramatic and moving ending is a good finish to a superb and powerful film. One of the best, or maybe even the best movie of the 20th century. Mel Gibson. Brave Heart. Rocky Balboa is a struggling boxer trying to make the big time, working as a debt collector for a pittance. When heavyweight champion Apollo Creed visits Philadelphia, his managers want to set up an exhibition match between Creed and a struggling boxer, touting the fight as a chance for a nobody to become a somebody. Rocky sees it as a chance to live his dream and go the distance with the heavyweight champion of the world. It made me strive to work harder and not give up. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. I love you. I love you too. I'll be right back. A man is marooned on an island after his plane crashes into the ocean. First, frustration gets to him and then he realizes how little his chances are to ever get back to civilization. Finally, Chuck takes the opportunity to take off for home. It is a love story with action and heartbreak like few films have been able to pull together. Anybody? Anything like that. From an Indian clerk, ill-educated in Madras, I would very highly value any advice you give me. Letter for you. Postmarked England. In the 1910s, Srinivasa Ramanujan is a man of boundless intelligence that even the abject poverty of his home in Madras India cannot crush. We need proofs of your work. But they are right, sir. I hadn't completed that proof. How do you know? I just do. You don't pull a stunt like that in my class. Eventually, his stellar intelligence in mathematics and his boundless confidence in both attract the attention of the noted British mathematics professor, G. H. Hardy. Don't you know what I've given up to be here? I have nothing. Explorers of infinity in the pursuit. The writing, the acting, the cinematography, the direction, all excellent. It's I who owe you. The rains came late this year, and now the trees have gone. Malawi is preparing. William Kamkwam was born in the country of Malawi in Africa, when he was 14 years old, a terrible drought hit the village where he lived. 
people had nothing to eat and drink. Mr. Fachibunda, when you turn the wheel on your bike, the light shines. How? It's magnets. I can bring water. I know how to do it. Being an excellent student and very fond of physics, the guy decides to save his native village from starvation. It's one of these based on a true story movies that are actually really good and achieve what they are going for. And... <laughs> 